Hello everyone and welcome to Fable. This is the anniversary edition. Uh, I had a real itch to play this. This was one of my absolute favorite games way back in the day when it first came out. I played it, I, I don't know how many times, I played it multiple times. Um, and I do remember that the last time I played, I played a goody two shoes to the T, which means that I have to be just downright evil in this gameplay, right? So it is the anniversary edition again, which means that it's been remastered, updated graphics, and all that fun stuff. So let's jump in and let's see if it's as good as I remember it being. Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, but one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's oh, all right. Gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to really? get a present. Now, get but what if I were to be trouble. evil? Talk to the people marked on your map with a green dot. They have something interesting to say and will highlight green when you approach them. Okay. Uh, let me see. There we go. That's better. Okay. Is your father around? Uh, yeah, he's up the hill. So we already talked to her. Who's back here? What if your wife finds you? Run along. We're busy. Yeah, you are. Oh, come here, my little sand goose. So romantic. I bet you are. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Really? Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. It is. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. What a steal. Maybe later, but hurry before I eat them myself. Oh, we wouldn't want that. Remember, three gold coins, that's all they cost. Very well. Aha. Honestly, where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? I know where he is. With some woman I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? Oh, I found him. You have? Right. I'm gonna turn him into balverine food. <laughs> Thank you, young sir, for telling me. Oh, you're welcome.
What's up with you? Oh, oh, thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favor? Maybe. I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right. A good word, Won't huh? Long. What about a bad word? My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. How Come dare on. you? Let's go and break stuff. <laughs> yeah, smash them up. Give me the barrels. I ain't no big blubbing girl. Isn't this more fun? Give, give, give. That's more like it. I didn't move. It's totally fine. They were broke when I got here. Excellent. Thanks, lad. You've done me a big favor. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Why, thank you. I don't know how good of a deed I performed, but hey, that's fine. I don't mind starting off good, but boy, will it go south real quick. Stupid little idiots. What do you want? I'm just dealing with this brat. He was irritating me, playing with my sister and her stupid teddy bear. Now he won't give it to me, just because I said I'd rip his stupid head off. I told him if he doesn't do what I say, I'm going to make his life a misery. Really? Does he? You look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. No, not him. Ow, 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 but ow. you! I'm sorry. I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. Thank you. You stopped him good. Thank you. Here, I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. Okay. Just a few more people to visit. Right, got you, you little ruffian. What? I've heard reports that you've been doing bad deeds. I would never. The destruction of a person's vegetables. That sort of behavior is not acceptable. If you were older, you'd be apprehended and fined by the town guards. You need to decide if behaving like that is worth it, my young friend. I'll oh, it leave is. It at that for now. But think about what I've said. <gasps> you found Rosie. Thank you so much. Come on, Rosie. Let's change your stuffing. All right, get out of here. What's going on down here? Oh wait, that's my sister. First, we got to go get the money. Then we go get the chocolate. Mm. The then we go see the sister. Yo, filthy swine! I ought to chop them right off. Don't insult me anymore. But how did you find me out? I don't know. Weird, huh? Filthy swine! I ought to chop them right off. Don't Do it. Mm. 
Mm. I'm a man of my word, so here's the gold for your good deeds. But if you think that I'll turn Thanks. a blind eye to your mischief, you're very wrong. Look, try to keep out of trouble, please, for me. I'll think about it. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? I have. Can I punch that? Oh that boy don't know the difference between right and wrong. Huh? <laughs> Ooh, you're lucky I've still got these sweets. Quick, so lucky. Give me three gold pieces now, and they're yours. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? Sure thing. All right. Now off to go see our dear sister and kick a chicken. Come back here. There we go. Yeah, you don't want none of this. Three feet of fury over here. Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. No, I'm I didn't sorry forget. I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Not very Never helpful. Mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. I knew Somebody's you were bossy. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Okay. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! Oh boy. It's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide. <laughs> Jesus. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. I mean, to be fair, there wasn't that many people in the town. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. Yeesh. And that's why we became... Evil! Oh, no, I gotta go around.
What the hell? Buddy. We must leave. Did you get something it's caught in your throat here. when you screamed? They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? No, not then really. Give me your hand. Whatever you say, weird tattoo guy. Stronger stomach than that. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. If we want to live? My name is Maze. And I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find no oh, yeah, safer yeah, in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. I do like vengeance. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. Okay. Sure, we'll just follow the guy that kind of just insulted us, but fine. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now. But you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. <laughs> Poor kid. It's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. Why's everybody gonna roast us I've as soon as we get here? Month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Oh. I'm Some sorry, is the room not big night enough night. for both of us? Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Oh, no, I would hate that. Hmm. Looks like the guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. And He's you! At the training grounds across the river. Let's Remember what go. you said? He was waiting for both of us, not just me. The guild front door. Can you imagine right, right, what right. it will be like when we're ready to leave? This is the guild shop. When you're older, you can buy stuff here. Ooh, like what? You've finally prized yourself from... All right, lad. It's time to see if you've any potential. Get in the ring. You got it, boss. Now then, I want you to hit that dummy as hard as you can. Just keep going till I tell you to stop. All right. One haymaker coming up. You're not making much of an impact there, are you? Here. I mean, I'm trying. This. Oh, there it is. Ah, now 
that's more like it. When you destroy an enemy like this dummy, it drops an experience orb. These orbs contain Shiny. the knowledge gained from killing the creature. It's very important that you collect these orbs, or you won't learn anything. Now pick it up. Well done, lad. Now then, tomorrow we'll... That's the gold uh -oh. Sounds like there might be something loose in the woods. This is a good opportunity Let me at it, sir. to test your spirit. I'll wait for you at the Guildwood's entrance while you deal with the problem. Once you're done, we can talk about starting your training. Kill the beetles. All right. If he wants the beetles dead. All right, where are you? I see you on the map up there. Good work, lad. Those beetles can be a damn nuisance. Damn yeah. right. I think you've earned yourself some pocket money for that. If you want more gold, I'm sure the servants could use your help with something. Or you okay. can get an early night. Ah, uh, no. <clears throat> Let's go for an early night. The guild was now the boy's life. The memory of the Oakvale flames still scorched his mind. But soon he had no thought other than training, and he became stronger and more agile with every passing year. His days were filled with grueling exercises, the nights with study in the library. Finally, he was ready to become a guild apprentice, just as Mays had foreseen. The real training was about to begin. Get out of bed, lazy bones. We were supposed to meet the guildmaster on the other side of the river. But that was this an again? hour ago. We better get going. Race you there. Run, press and hold the B button. Okay. There's no way you're winning. Late again. You, you it was all her fault. Stick away. We'll begin training with real weapons now. Ooh. Get used to the weight of this sword. And let's see if you can hit Whisper with it. Really? Just like that, huh? Come on, then. Let's see what you've got, farm boy. Farm boy? How dare you. I'll show you, farm boy. Now pay attention. What I'm about to teach you could well save your life one day. Don't call anyone farm boy. The hero is a dangerous one, and you must learn to block your enemy's attacks if you expect to live long. Whisper will try to hit you, but you can block her attacks with your sword. Not all blows can be blocked, but you should be able to handle anything Whisper can throw at you. Ha <laughs> ha! Roasted. He said you're weak. What you got? I'll hit you next time. No, you won't. You can't stop me every time. I want to bet. Well done. Now let's see if you can combine attack. Who is this defense. pompous ass? Ah, hello, Thunder. Come to check on your sister's progress, have you? You could say that. Whisper told me you've got a training with some fanboy. You Maybe son of a bitch. Get in this potential. ring. 
Enough to keep up with my whisper. Ha. <laughs> well, why don't we see? <laughs> I've already beaten her. Lice. Working on their melee skills now. Not bad for a farm All boy. Right, children. Let's see who has learnt the most in their training. This will be a no holds barred duel. Just like your final melee test. Prepare yourselves. <laughs> That gets through. That's all wrong, Whisper. <laughs> you need to practice more. Shame you couldn't see me fight in the arena. You might have learned a thing or two. Keep training if you want to go there yourself one day. I could have beaten him if you hadn't stopped us. We have few enough. No, as no, you can't. Without the two of you tearing You can't beat me. Don't even try it. You can't do it, Whisper. Meet me as I make my way to the archery. When you're ready to continue your lessons. Oh, and about your melee performance. Excellent. Fight like that in your melee exam and you'll do well. You got it, Chief. Then meet me by the archery range to continue your training. Let's do it! Oh, are you ready for your archery training? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Got her. Let's continue our training with the bow. To begin with, see if you can hit the three stationary targets. And put some effort into it. The longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage you will cause. But make okay, sure okay. you stay Makes within sense. the circle. Okay, left button to unsheath the bow. And LT to lock on the bow. Okay, I got it. Well done. You hit all the targets. Unfortunately, most foes don't stand still. That's true. That's so let's true. see how you fare against moving targets. You have a minute to score as many points as you can. The front target is worth one point. The middle one is worth three. And the one at the back will score you nine points. And remember, the longer you pull back your bowstring, the more damage the shot will cause. More damage means more points. But you have to balance power, firing rate, and accuracy. Let's okay, I'll try. Know. Okay. Come on, lad. Get your bow out. Oh dear. Try pulling the string back further for more power. Whoa. Uh, no. Can we not lock onto the innocent people? What the hell is happening with my camera? shot okay something's going on with the damn camera Not too good. You need more practice. Nah, I think that's enough for now. Well, let's try that again. All right, fine. Let's continue our training with the... Now, fire the arrow. The longer you pull back the string, the more powerful your shot will be. Get your bow out. You can fire it harder than that. Any 
this young man. There goes the tough old guild master. Jesus Christ. I should have been doing it from like this from the start. Not bad, but try firing more powerful shots. Eh, good enough. Next, we will learn about the ways of the will. Speak the to will. Me when you're ready to continue with your training, I'll be heading to the island by the waterfall. All right, let's go. Oh, I see what happened. The thumbstick does it. There's just the will left to learn. Okay. It's time to learn about will powers. We'll begin by striking these strong dummies with lightning. Sounds like fun. All right, let's see what you've got. Hey, pull and hold right trigger to access your will powers. Good. That's it. See how many you can hit in half a minute. Only attack dummies that are facing the center of the island. Okay. Don't get any points for hitting one on the back. You'll only waste valuable mana. Using your willpowers depletes your mana, and once used, it takes time to replenish. Makes sense. Stop right now. I mean, it was an accident, to be fair. Wait until your will reserve recharges. Excellent use of magic. Well done. Not too bad. Not too bad. Very good, lad. You have learnt the three hero disciplines. We can now move on to your final test if you're ready. Or you can spend some more time exploring the guild. I believe Whisper is about to go into the guild woods, if you wish to join her. Um... Very yeah, why not? I'll be in the map room when you're ready to continue. Okay. Any princes want to practice melee combat? Let's go see what all whispers up to. Come on, let's hunt beetles. I'll follow you into the woods. Okay. The beetle nest is just at the top of the... Uh-oh. Wait. Did you hear that? It's coming from over there. Bandits. If only Bandits. we could get across that stream. I know. Why don't you use your bow? Or some of that lightning the guildmaster taught you? I'll heal you if you get hurt. Sounds good to me. Hold still. Yeah, we'll just crisp you up a little bit. We did it! Did you see the look on their faces? Wait I till did. the guildmaster hears about this. The boy mastered the skills quickly, 
but there was always more to learn. For years, the guild was his home, his school, and his life. But as time passed, his thoughts returned always to the world outside. The life he had lost, the family that had been torn from him. At last, only the final day of tests remained. Success would mark the end of his training. He would receive the guild seal and be free to forge his own destiny. He would become a hero. Before you graduate, An evil there is one hero. final test you must complete. Enter the guild. Bring it on! And go to the log at the top of the hill. The test will be revealed to you there. Good luck. Let me guess, it's gonna be Whisper. She's been talking shit again. I suppose you're wondering how you passed the final test then. It's simple. You must defeat me, using all you've learned in your years of training. We'll begin with your sword. Hit me, if you can. You got it! Attack me! Put some anger into it! Very good. Now, shoot me with your bow. Uh, don't get too close. Whatever you say. Excellent. And finally, cast lightning at me. You got it, Chief. That's enough. Yes. Quite impressive for a novice. Thanks. You'll find real I battles think. rather more fatal than this. But you have passed your final test. And you're ready to receive your guild seal from the guild master. Well, this is the day, lad. I remember the first night you came to us. And look at you now. Maze's faith in you was well placed. Now come along. The graduation ceremony will take place in the Chamber of Fate, the oldest part of the guild. Let the apprentices approach. For many years now, you have worked hard to earn yourselves the title of hero. Today, that apprenticeship ends and you go out into the world to do great deeds. Deeds that will bring you the gratitude of thousands. Or strike fear into their hearts. Yeah, that's what we want. The shadows of Albion are stirring, and strange winds are blowing. Your choices, whether they lead you down the path of good or evil, will change the face of the world. Now, take your guild seals and venture forth as heroes. It's time for you to leave us, lad. But you're still very much part of the guild. On the map table, you will find details of any quests the people of Albion wish heroes to perform. And you'll need to return often to focus all your experience into new skills. Okay. Only by doing this regularly will you advance as a hero. Step into the light and I'll show you how to do this. Okay. Of course, with which you can swing a weapon, the amount of damage you cause. Ooh, we want heavy weapons. There is little else for me to teach you, but I will always be around to offer you guidance. And your guild seal will allow me to communicate with you at all times. You oh, that's handy. You'll notice it flashing when you have enough experience to spend. I have given you a basic pack of supplies. 
It'll be enough for a while. Now there's a whole world for you to explore. Nice. Quests interact with the map table. Core story quests are highlighted with the gold icon. Check the guild for more quests. Let's see. The Wasp Menace. Snow Trolls. Suppressing an Uprising. Minion Camp. Let's see. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this one. Follow the, uh, the pointer. Region exits out of the map to the... Get to the location of your quest. Your inventory contains further details of any quest you have taken. Remember, press the back key at any time to see your current objectives. Right. Uh, let me see. Oh, wait, you're glowing. What's going on? Go and fight the wasp queen at the picnic area. Okay. Let's stop off at uh, this guy. Yeah, let's see. Hmm. So we have 507 gold. Mamma mia. Uh, that's what I want to start collecting plate armor. Why, you little scroat? Uh, excuse me? Looking to make a purchase? <laughs> You're lucky I can't punch you. Okay. Oh, wait, we're supposed to go through the front door now. All this time I haven't been able to go through that door, and now they want me to go through it. Remember, following the gold you markers on your map you will lead you to your quest objective. Ah, oh, we can buy by titles. Hi, Master. Arse face. <laughs> you want to get to the harvest clock? Sort out their trouble. What's to attack in the picnic area? Follow me. Well, that's what I'm here for. Follow me. You've seen your face it's in a this way. It's like a sack of Jesus, that's rude. <laughs> it's this way. Please. All right, I'll handle it. Hold on. What's all the buzz about? Man, those are some uh, some big wasps. Saving me. I'm gonna tell everyone about it. You do that. Thank you so much. You're welcome. There she is. That's not fair. It may, but so will lightning. I'm like a human bug zapper. Hero, your will energy is low. What the You are making good progress in combat. More wasps have spawned, but they are no match for your weapon.
teach you to mess with picnickers. The higher your renown level, the more your presence is acknowledged, celebrated, or even feared. That's what I like. Maze is looking for you. He waits for you in the Barstone Tavern. Bowerstone Tavern, huh? Hey, it's you! The bully! <laughs> Funniest thing I've seen in years! If you see that wimp again, give him another scare. The little rascal deserves it. I mean, he does. You've earned my thanks, hero. I'm sure you'll make many friends in your travels. Perhaps we'll meet again, hero. Mm-hmm. Probably. <gasps> no, that made us good. Oh, well. I always did like punching that guy. Maybe later. Oi! You're new here, aren't you? Sure am. We have some rules around here that you need to know about. Do tell. Bower Stone is a peaceful town. Uh, I'll have to confiscate your weapons for now. Great. Thank you. There are shops, inns, lots of different people, games, <laughs> all kinds of things. Why not pay the tavern a visit first? It's the building in front of you, just up the road from here. Oh, and keep an eye open for Lady Grey. Oh, Treat boy. her with respect. She is the mayor, after all. Okay, Have whatever you say, Chief. And enjoy your stay in Bowerstone. Over here. Been enjoying all the attention, have you? A little yes. bit. I heard about your encounter with the Wasp Queen. Most of Bowerstone is talking about it. But, um, you shouldn't let that kind of thing go to your head. Uh, anyway, that's not why I called you here. You see, there are dark forces gathering that put your giant insect to shame. Thanks. So, how much do you remember of the night I took you to the guild? Of the raid on Oakfell? Not much, I wager. A most terrible night. I thought those bandits had killed your whole family. And that you were going to be next. But... but it seems there may have been another survivor. Your sister. I'm afraid it's only a rumor. And there's no way to be certain yet. But I thought you should know. And for pity's sake, boy. Make sure you replace that basic equipment while you're here. Okay, I'll try. Check the guild for more quests. Okay. okay. So, let's see. Hmm. Oh, I like that. Is that why I can't use this one up here? No. Oh, no, wait. This is what I have equipped. Oh, I see, I see. Hmm. Why not? Go with an axe. Well, he's always having problems Still at Orchard illegal. Farm. Some odd things are going on up there. Let me guess. Looking for items of combat. You're sure to find something to suit you. Oh 
Might as well sell that since I don't need it anymore. Isaiah's having problems at Orchard Farm. Some odd things are going on up there. For items of combat. Where? Uh, yeah. Quick! Follow me! Okay. Lead the way, kiddo. Sky is... Oh, woe is me. My son is poorly. It's what a shame. Boy. My poor little boy. We were on a picnic at Lookout Point when he found these... These strange mushrooms. The witch in Bowerstone Key says we shouldn't worry, but she needs more of the mushrooms before she can cure him. I would find them myself, but I need to look after Aldi. Please, could you help us? Uh, sure. Okay. Oh, that's a barber. General shop, so that's the green. Ah, there is an important quest card at the guild for you. No, I'm sure there is. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I think that's enough for just the first episode of the series. I hope you all enjoyed watching. If you did, please leave a like, ring the bell, and hit the subscribe button. It does help me out a lot, and I will see you all next time.